Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Tech Tutorials. And again, my name is Ron, and I am the admin for Click Worker Philippines. You can find us on Facebook. Just uh, join the group, uh, answer our, all the membership questions, and please do subscribe to this channel for more video overview or tutorials uh for uhrs tasks so for today we are taking the qualification on a head app called as the ad keyword a bad match in english now again this is a tutorial and it is the training mode let's pull up the guidelines for this now the guidelines is about 10 pages I don't want to go through all these, but let's go to the examples. So uh, common areas of confusion will be the keyword is relevant to the user's uh, search query. Now this can include broader uh, or narrower product selection, competitor or alternative products, accessories, products often purchased together and related topics as well as direct matches to the search term um, this hit up works like the amazon search uh, in yandex to loca uh, it has you know the same idea so uh for example uh let's go ahead and check on this one uh query is a jc penny online shopping Keyword was betting. It's not bad. Explanation to that. It's narrower product selection. JC Penny sells home goods, clothing, etc. The keyword is one category of product sold here. So um, it is a not bad uh, tagging. So Spider Man Polar Jacket review. Uh, keyword is back country. Uh, it isn't bad. Uh, it's a broader product. Uh, selection now back country is a store that sells outdoor clothing like the jacket the user is looking for uh, let me move on to the next one so for the bad uh tagging uh the keyword is not relevant to the user's search query uh let's say large elk antler sale uh the keyword is holiday bad there is no relationship between the terms uh let me give you an example for this one. Let's just say the cost, uh, the user's query is uh, an iPhone 12, and uh, the keyword was um, iPhone 12 casing. So that is a broader product selection, so it will be considered as bad. And another, I'm sorry, it's not bad. And for the bad is something like if they search for a query, um, let's say iPhone 12, but um, the keyword used is Samsung phone, then totally th those things are not relevant. So let's move on to this one. Um, again, this is an overview. I don't mind if I don't pass it, but I, I just want you all to have a look at how this heat app or hit app uh, should be answered. So uh, choose not bad, the keyword is relevant to the user search query. This can include broader or narrower product selection, competitor or alternative products, accessories, products often purchased together, like a complement you know, to a particular product, like let's say an iPhone 12, and uh, the query was uh, an iPhone casing. So that is, uh, it, it can be purchased uh, together or it's, a complement to the product as well as direct matches to the user's search uh, choose bad if the keyword is not relevant to the user search query uh, that should be easy to understand uh, choose adult if the query keyword are both sexually explicit uh, we are all familiar with how that goes junk if the query and or keyword are non-english junk or nonsense uh, maybe in other languages, languages like Japanese, Chinese, or Russian. So, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. Find you scar Tim Lam Auto Broker. This is a broader, or uh, a broader search. So, uh, let's go ahead and click on not bad. So, um, 
this is going to be a junk for me because it is in Spanish. Again, this one is uh, the English version. So Grand California Hotel. Hotel, I'm not sure what this is. What is this rather? Uh, hotel, okay, it's, I think it's a hotel. So let's assume it is uh, not bad at all. Uh, Ger Gerber Memorial Hospital. Uh, hints, I would say this one is bad if the keyword is, it's a hospital and it's, this one is looking for uh, ins or a place to stay. So it'll be a uh, bad query, expensive dog beds, dog beds, that's not bad at all. Let's click submit and see how it goes. You have failed the qualification test this time. However, you can try it again. I want to know, all right, I, I got kicked out of it. Let's try to work on it again. Uh, web page, uh, add relevance, no. Find similar pages. I think this one is, okay, let's pull it up again. Nope, this is different. Hold on a sec, guys, I'm waiting for it to load. This one, one sec, and uh, <laughs> I forgot where that thing is. No, is the ad a keyword bad match? Is product a bad match to the user query? I think this is the one we worked with earlier try to pull it up well again guys uh, please do subscribe to this channel for more more video uh, overview of UHRS head apps or video tutorials uh, please don't mind me if I fail it because uh, again these uh, these videos here are just uh, for training purposes so let's go ahead and move on to the next head app it is again is the ad keyword a bad match so uh, LG washer, LG washing machine, I will say it's not bad. Uh, compare Dell Optiplex Dell coupon, that's, uh, I would consider, hold on, uh, keyword, it's bad for me. Uh, TT, uh, what is this? Let's click on Google search. It's, a sh what is this, Puma TT? Let me look at the images. It's a machine. And okay, that's bad. RVS, I don't know what an RVS is. Let me pull it up and see what that thing is. My connection is really slow. Uh, RVS sale, comparing world RV campers for sale. And this one is searching for, a, okay, that's not bad at all. Um, methotrexate arthritis, um, hold on a sec, the keyword is not relevant to the use, uh, this is no relationship between, I would say that's not bad, let's give it a shot, submit, okay, we got this one correct, click on okay, key, uh, key query intent is to purchase an RV, the keyword meaning is to sell an RV, these are unrelated. All right. Ah. All right, I'm going to fail this qualification. But again, this is how you work on this one. It's, uh, again, a video overview of the task or the hit app called Is This Ad Keyboard a Bad Match? I hope this video helps you out. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to watch videos about, again, overview of hit apps and tutorials as well. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.